Okay, we're back to our board where we did the Santa Fe Vintage Market and Design paint, the turquoise color. Then we did a heavy coating of Rustica Deluxe over random blotches of petroleum jelly. We took our nylon brush and combed through the Rustica Deluxe and then we took it outside and had it warm up in the hot New Mexico sun to dry and we ended up developing some nice cracks from the heat which you get a lot of times if you put it on thickly even without heat and then we went in with our final color and we used the Atelier glaze in the Noir black on this side and we used the black silk wax on this side and you can see that on both sides it went into all the little nooks and crannies and cracks you get more dramatic color with the glaze than you do with the wax but you can no no way is right or wrong it's just the type of look you want so what we're going to do now is finish this off and seal it so that we know that it's going to stay nice with the um, clear coat and a satin finish interior and what i've done is cut up a little cellulose sponge and i've wet it with my water bottle again it's not drippy it's just wet um, damp and I'm going to dip it into the clear coat and go over all of this so that I know that it's going to all stay intact. And I don't need a lot on the sponge, just enough to absorb into that surface. And I love applying clear coat this way. It goes so much faster than having to brush it on and go with the grain. And then you get brush strokes and with this it just melds right into the finish. Nobody knows it's on there until they get something on it and it wipes right off and they don't have a problem, which I've done. I can attest to this clear coat. I've had several times where I've had pieces in my studio all finished and then I've spilt something on them and wiped it off and no spots, no issues whatsoever. So I know it works. And I'm just doing 100% coverage over the whole thing. making sure that that glaze is protected and the crackle is protected and everything's going to be good to go from the long run. Okay, then I'm just going to take this tape off that we put here just so you can see the difference in the dramatic finish between the wax, the black wax, and the black glaze. So you can see that we've got a lot more pigment grabbing with the glaze than we do with the wax. And again, it just depends on the look you want.